We're keeping things a bit cooler with today's color, 2134-60. This color has a pretty apparent blue undertone. We got the code, now let's get to cracking. Big thank you to our friends at Mighty Boards for helping us out today. More on the awesome stuff they do later on in the video. We're back with a Benjamin Moore color that I recently got to use on a project that has really surprised me. Even though it's a cool gray, which can sometimes be branded as only suitable for uber contemporary homes, we found a really great use for it in a recent project pertaining to a heritage home that really managed to hold on to its more traditional character while still incorporating the cool color white stone. Before I show you some examples from that particular job, let's talk about white stone on its own. To start, it's part of the Benjamin Moore color preview collection of colors, which is relatively straightforward in how it's grouped together as color hues all descending from light to dark. When you look at it on the wall, it really looks like a giant rainbow, pretty much touching on every single aspect of the color wheel. It starts with red, then moves to yellow, to green, blue, pink, brown, and then finds its way back to red. What I like about it is you can pretty much guarantee that every color on their respective color chip will be part of the same family or have the same base color hue, which means if you really like 2134-60, which is white stone, but wanted something a bit lighter, you can go up to 2134-70 Genesis White. This is a much better and more reliable way to go lighter or darker within the same general color because you can actually see what you're going to be ending up with rather than going with a customized color formula instead. And that's really just a roll of the dice. If you want more detail on custom formulas, we did a video on it, which you can check out afterwards. As far as depth goes, white stone is the second lightest color along its color swatch, but it's actually not very light at all, with an LRV of 61.65. This puts it in the light mid-tone category of colors, which is actually a pretty good place to be if we're talking wall colors. It has more than enough depth to pair it well with any off-white you throw at it. You just might have to put some real thought on what sort of colors you want surrounding it. Do you want to go warmer or double down on the cool nature of white stone? Its name kind of gives you a hint at what you get with it, but it's definitely nothing near white. And I guess its gray aspect fits that stone label it has, but there's nothing really earthy or grounded about white stone. It possesses a pretty strong blue undertone that is even more prominent against warm whites and creams. It can look closer to gray in areas with darker accents, more specifically charcoal grays or navy blues especially, but this is definitely a cooler appearing gray in most conditions. What sorts of colors do I see pairing well with white stone? The first time I used white stone on a project, it was actually paired alongside another stone or masonry based color in Boston brick. As you might guess, I use these colors outside on a home where white stone ended up being the main body color and Boston brick ended up being the accent color on the front door of the home. I didn't get a photo of it specifically, but instead I'll show you a rendering of what the pairing looked like together. I love the combination of a blue tone or slightly desaturated blue gray and a deep brown terracotta. And there's a very specific reason why. If we look at our handy dandy color wheel, blue and red aren't necessarily complementary to one another, but they are part of a triadic color scheme alongside green. Green is the color that's going to be pretty prominent outside in many neighborhoods, not in the form of your green garage door or your green front porch probably, but in your lawn, your trees, the plant life that is most likely gonna be present. That's not something that people always take into consideration when picking exterior colors, but you should, because it all can come together really nicely, especially if you have a large abundance of greenery to work with. Also, brown works into that triadic color scheme as well, because Brown is technically a shade of orange, which is also found in those terracotta colors we're working with. What about on the inside? Let's talk interior colors. Believe it or not, I'm going in a completely different direction here with a very warm off-white that also has that touch of orange we talked about earlier, but this time in its undertones. Pompeii OC82 has an LRV of 82 coincidentally, but I really love to create that dynamic juxtaposition between cool and warm, and that's exactly what this color does. Instead of toning down or neutralizing the cool aspect of white stone, Pompeii brings it to the forefront, which will really enhance the movement of color throughout your home. Even though it's really light, Pompeii is a favorite for me as a wall color to go alongside white stone. This warm and cool pairing 
can feel pretty drastic to certain people, which is why it would probably be in your best interest to test out these colors together using a Mighty Board. White stone and a huge white Mighty Board are a match made in heaven because you get to grab a tester from your paint store and paint this flexible paintable board, which you can then see in the room that you plan on painting. It's also very useful because white stone can look pretty different in a bathroom compared to a front hallway. So instead of painting multiple spots throughout your home, you just paint the one Mighty Board and bring it around with you. Be sure to check out our color testing video later on where we go over how Mighty Boards can really save you quite a bit of time and money. White stone shines on the walls, but you want to make sure that you pick the appropriate trim color for it too. I have two other colors that I would recommend on your baseboards. First one being a darker trim color, and it's called Whale Grey. Here's a hot tip for you. If you're looking for an easy way to find a darker trim color for your paired wall color, you just take your starting wall color and then skip a color on the color swatch. For Benjamin Moore colors, I only recommend this for the color preview palette, specifically because of how it's organized into descending color hues along the same swatch. Whale Gray is two steps darker than White Stone, and it has an LRV of 21.9. That's a pretty big difference between the two. But what it does is it doubles down on that cool smoky gray from Whitestone because they're so closely knit undertone wise. So that's a fun dark trim color to start with, but the trim color that we ended up going with on that particular project was not a light gray or a stark white. It was the fan favorite warm white called Cloud White. CC40. Cloud White comes with an LRV of 87.35, and it's really as light and airy as its name suggests. While not being the brightest white out there, that was never meant to be its purpose. What I've always loved about it is its balance of creamy warmth and a touch of taupe to give it a sleek, soft edge. And because we ended up using it quite a bit throughout different aspects of the home, it ended up feeling like a pure white, but just had a classy yet cozy feeling that just enraptures you. Of course, we're here to talk about white stone, and it's these two together that really create a modern back and forth of warm and cool, modern and traditional. That really feels fresh to me. This is an important thing to think about because even if you gravitate towards those cooler colors, it's always worth considering a warmer counterbalance to still preserve that feeling of comfort. What about the all important question here? Where should you use white stone? Well, on Friday, I'll be able to take you inside the home that I worked on, and I'll show you specifically the rooms where we used white stone, as well as the rest of the home. But what I will say is you definitely can't go wrong going with a cool gray like this in bathrooms, mainly for the fact that they're usually going to have a lot of clean whites and metallic tones which go perfectly with white stone. But like I said earlier, it's really nice to sometimes step away from feeling pressure to match cool with cool. Change things up a bit and mix up your warms and cools to suit your space and reflect the duality in all of us. Wow, that is deep.